Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, your your incompetence isn't my problem. Oh, Just perfect timing. What do you want? Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me, everyone, I'm just so angry. Threat I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. And that threat, like threatening, like being kicked out, like what happened to the Krogan? To the Salarians? That's not diplomatic. He was pretty abusive towards you. Is that normal? Yes, he's horrible. Working with him is a total nightmare. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods What? Going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. You'd think your boss would have the power to do something. She hates Spender, but there's only one of her. And she can't always be around to deal with him. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was oh I wish I could have seen that. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Oh, I will gladly help you with this because I want this project to work. And if Cash gets everybody killed, that's not good. Alright, I think you have... No iron. Like some of these news stories. Let's talk to Cash. Attention, civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Does anyone else know about this? My grandfather tried to tell Tan. He wouldn't believe him without proof. Oh, we, we know how he keeps his job. He just plays people off against each other. He's a political manipulator. Everything I hear about this guy makes me think less of him. This is my surprised face. Look, I can work with everyday incompetence. But Spender's a traitor and a danger to the station. He needs to be dealt Naturally. with. Naturally. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage, of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. I'll get on that. Nothing more for now. See you later. Well, I have set up two successful thriving outposts. Should get me something.
Hello. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. Just one word. Setting up two settlements. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office view. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate that Natanus was destroyed. Others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me. Even if it's just a vent. All right. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security bit? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Thank God for the Turian's dogged devotion to duty. Alright. Huh. This file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait. Is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help. Don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Huh. Oh. Mm. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Okay. Let's go confront Spender. Like, my suspicion is, if, if we were going to do a, this character is actually more, has more depth than it was originally intended, um, then my, if we're going to do that, then this would be that he's in fact routing information The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? Not going to flirt. I've already got a, someone I'm flirting with. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. All right, and now let's have a little chat, Mr. Spender. If we're doing a, if he's going to be somewhat sympathetic, my guess would be that the way they take is he's diverting stuff to the exiles to help keep them alive and keep them safe from the cat. He just being real check us about it. So much violence. Then after nearly Ryder, is it? Williams. Oh, I just oh, eavesdropped that. Meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running Colonial Affairs? I thought you were the Assistant Director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off. What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. Interrupt, interrupt. Okay, nothing yet. And he has yet to do the classic thing of... Uh, 
of sending guys to muscle me around. Um, there our new quest. Tasks. Core's loyalty mission, then Sam Node mission. That's what I wanted. Um, journal. Okay, that's all in the docking bay, so... For the secrets. Let's hit Sam node first. Pardon me? Pathfinder, be advised the Angaran AI from Vault is now active and mostly cooperative. That was nice to hear. Let's chat with you first. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. Let's see hey! It. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. That was ah, so that's the plan. Sam, Sam was too designed to Alex, be a I'm cure. Not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we. They kicked you out of the alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't going to lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> oh! Uh, dad joke. Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? Well, it's appropriate the dad teaches the AI dad jokes. It felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. The dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's I'll go listen to those in a bit. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. 
That's all for now. Of course. Hi, Ancient AI. My liberator. Welcome. How are you feeling? You seem, you seem happier than when we first met. Less, less violent, anyway. I am not violent by nature. And Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara. <laughs> Uh, maybe everything except that last part? That he oh, that head animation. Her bases are made small and she wants the Angara eliminated? Also, the head animation, because she turns her head all the way this way. That's, that's weird. I hadn't noticed that before. How do you like her station? Oh, I can't, oh god, that's like... Breaking the neck. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. I warned that would happen if you refused my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I thought you were blind. Oh, I can't look at that. Oh, God. Yet you kept me alive anyway. <sighs> you got what you wanted. Stop you doing Sam. that. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. We can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. <laughs> I find your AI to be <laughs> <laughs> Sam? I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. Got it. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give for now. Oh, that neck bit. Oh, God. And audio logs. Your father's personal logs. So here's the question. The, the initiative was kicked off in between 2 and 3. So is this in fact actually uh, Liara as the Shadow Broker? <laughs> it's kind of interesting the thought of uh, Alec Ryder dealing with Liara in two different fronts. One professionally as a Xeno-archaeologist with a, special, with a um, focus in Deceased highly advanced civilizations, and second, dealing with her as the shadow broker for purposes of getting the research to build AI, particularly considering that she's had it worked with AI in three different respects the AI on the Citadel, the um, Geth with Legion, and also with. Um, Uh, <laughs> uh, Edie. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No, maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret law. <laughs> anyway. The right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and sound are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Corian and historian, 
How do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. It's somewhat more complicated than that, particularly with how we saw getting to see things from Legion's perspective in Mass Effect 3 which actually makes these dialogue bits really good in context with Ma with having seen having played Mass Effect 3. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first Oh, we heard that one already. War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. All right, next side quest. Talk to Peeb. I'll attack the protesters. Save my game real quick. Well, I guess they do some. That hair. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. Plural. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. <laughs> They could have handled this better, but I do appreciate that they did at least bring this up. <clears throat> we only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods t t today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. They can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. God, that hair.
If I say my words loud enough, they will do an actual uprising. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. I tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Oh, Lord. And we have another side quest that popped up. Over there. Hey, we have a club. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for- Oh, free. dear God. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. That's your flag, everyone. That's for Drobos. Okay, let's go chat with Kadros and then go find some mixology ingredients. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, because this is kind of a thing. A ray of hope for sleep -starved residents. In retrospect, I probably should have checked on the uh, protesters when I came in. talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters and hydroponics I see maybe I should get the others for this okay staff meeting protesters have seized hydroponics they want their families out of stasis the outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule they're scattered across colony blocks it's dozens of people the protesters want this fixed today the realities of our position are we can't wake those families we don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Um. I wonder if I had some blocks available, would I be able to resolve it that way? Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. Yeah, that's a bad idea. If they resist, if you might land in Med Bay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. <sighs> oh, this is crap. This, this is this is a tough decision. Okay. I don't like busting in there and busting heads to end the protest. I 
I wish I hadn't spent all my pods before I did this, because then I could say, hey, take this route. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. <sighs> Weekly injury report. Casualty rate matches projections. I'm sorry, Lana. I'm planning on setting up a new outpost on the next planet, on the next couple planets I go to anyway, and maybe clear up some things on EOS to improve viability, and unlock new pods. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pods should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. I want you to... I, I could be the bleeding heart, but I want you to understand what this means. Things will be lean for a while. The new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't, it doesn't work like that, but I just want her out. So I know. Override complete. Stasis Revival triggered on the Nexus for Jasper K, Griffith G, Hilkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. There! That's her! Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in Stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Okay, I got viability points for that. I wonder if I would have gotten more for having told them to wait. Alright. Journal. So yeah, person, I'm personal level 22. Um... My personal level is kind of maxed, uh, masked by the uh, social stuff. But personal level 22, Nexus level 6. Interesting. Okay. Hops! Hey! Cascade hops! Oh, I can't wait to go to Aya. Well, we'll finish up clearing up, clearing things up with Aya first before you can go visit. Alright, so. Head to the vortex. 
And then drop that off. And then go. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. All right. Oh, another one. Damn it. Damn it. This, this is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm standing right here. Guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. <laughs> Bad people giving you free things and helping you set up. Oh, that's good. <laughs> right? They keep bringing things. Tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm a dirty squirrel. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. You got a surprising number of Brits here. Feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we haven't saw yet. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? You kind of like the style. <laughs> the vortex is a the vortex is a good name for a space bar. Not as good as Callahan's or um, the White Heart, which White Heart's from um, Arthur C. Clarke. But you know, hey, I'll take what I can get. And let's go talk to to Peebs. This is nice digs, by the way. I haven't been in this side of things. I already know about the vault. Being that I've been there, it was awesome. Unlocking. Come on in. Wow. Um. Groban got through here. What in the world is this? <laughs> Ta-da! Ta My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just, just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It, it worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh... What do you think? You could also theoretically add some housekeeping protocols and have it clean your horrifying uh, whirlwind mess of an apartment. You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it. So fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? 
Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human Pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. So, you two have like a... Um... Rin and Luvia relationship. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is PB's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Well, Melinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. It's like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. PB has the Remnant VI power. Nice! I have a new power. Uh, unlocked Remnant VI stuff. Holy I'll, cow. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Okay, that's pretty cool. So. Next stop, Eos. I kind of want to vault this rail. Hey, Vetra. What are you doing with that ship? This part doesn't go there. I gotta tell Cash to do something about her mechanics. Damn, Ryder, you just missed a good show. One of the alarms malfunctioned, and we thought it was an attack. <laughs> it didn't take long to figure it out, but in that time, they managed to scramble at least half the station's defense. Ah! That was that's pretty good. That's quick. They've been running drills? Something like that. My point is, they've got their act together, and that's a good thing. Hey, Pathfinder. Hi, I'm Tia Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through immigration processing, then we'll have you on your way. An expedition to Eos, the city of the Tempest. Back to the Tempest. 